Now this is something that's perfect for those of you that compete in time trials and the like, but actually it's also really good for anyone looking to complete an event or a ride in the fastest, most efficient way possible. So by knowing what power you can sustain for a given time, you can then begin to work out your optimal power for any given point of that ride in order to be able to get the most out of yourself and complete it as quickly as possible. So there's all sorts of software out there that will do it for you, including ones that take the wind conditions into consideration. But all of that said, I still think it's a good idea to learn what pacing feels like at the same time. So it's all very well hitting those numbers, but I think you should learn what your body's telling you at the same time. 